Picture this, there's a tornado. You need to get to your safe spot now to save your life. You run to your basement, sirens screaming outside. But then you get to your basement, you get to the shelter. The sirens are on your model train set. train studios this is my model train set and those are model sirens and i made them actually work why because uh because let's go see them so far this train set is uh, a little bit unfinished so we only have three sirens in place and only one works but there's two sounds and there's three total speakers it's a mess, but you'll you'll understand in a sec. Here we have an SDH den. This thing uh, doesn't do much. Uh, that's probably gonna be on a hole later. Over here we got a well in vortex, uh, just vortexing around, you know, just uh, existing, uh, but but very sturdy. I mean, this thing ain't gonna fall over. Uh, and over here we got an HOR. This one even rotates. Uh, look at that, how beautiful. Uh, and that's the one that actually works. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. We got a tiny little Model L. Uh, so, um, yeah, they, they work, but how is that? Well, I've got these recordical, <clears throat> that's not a word, sorry, recordable musical birthday cards that I hooked up to a central power system, uh, and long story short, So over here we have recording button, which I'm not going to press because then it would overwrite what I have. Got a little on off switch, that's handy dandy. And we got our button, which uh, you can break in half here and uh, attach long wires to, which is how I'm controlling the one over there from back here. Uh, you press the button and uh, plays your recording. I made that one on GarageBand and then you just play it on a device or some other speaker right next to that microphone right there. That's how you transfer sound over to it. If you just look up a recordable musical birthday card, you will find one online. The National Weather Service in Louisville has issued a tornado warning for Anderson. Also, fun fact, Jeanette this Spencer, county is called Rosewood Nelson, County. Rosewood, Woodford, and yeah, it's on there. <clears throat> Sounds like our Thunderbolt just shut off. 
I bet the HOR is about 2-2. Two, two. Now, if you're wondering where that Thunderbolt came from, we've actually got a real Thunderbolt prop to emit the sound. Well, to be there in place to justify the sound. That's going to go with a fire station over here. It's labeled RWC because I originally painted it to look customized for Rosewood County, but I'll probably paint right over that because it looks a bit odd. This one's actually a kit, but a lot of the other ones like this Model 2, are 3D printed. You can tell which ones are 3D printed by me because they look weirder and chunkier. Uh, that alerter is also 3D printed. This is 3D printed, and this is 3D printed. In fact, those aren't the only sirens. We have a whole box of them from the old county. This is the alerter stand, but I'm probably gonna mount the new one on some sort of big tower, uh, like a grain silo. We got a tiny little PP15 here. Right here, we've got a ACA Hurricane 130, the old square horn version, and it's blower right here. Uh, that used to be mounted up on top of here. In fact, this pallet is actually here to cover up the residue from gluing that blower. And you can still see where the pole was right there. It's dropped something. Uh, it might have just caused a catastrophe worse than a tornado, but it doesn't matter because they're models, they won't care. Uh, we got a couple hurricanes in here, in fact. We have this one. Uh, the head fell off, but uh, here's the decapitated body. And there is the other hurricane. This one's painted green, and this one doesn't rotate, so the head doesn't fall off. Transcript of this video is going to look weird now. Uh, here we got a custom siren stand that's had a ton of Model 2s, but they're all gone now. Uh, and what else do we got here? We got our famous T-128. Nearing 200,000 people saw me make this in Rage, and I don't know what to think of that. Um, this is it now. Here's what it looks like on the train layout, if you're wondering. And here's what it looks like on the floor, if you're wondering. Uh, what else do we got in here? We got a CLM with a missing back and a lot of infill still in there. Here's the back. I was originally going to go on a car, but uh, it's not anymore. This is my first 3D printed siren, I think. You can tell because it's wide and out of proportion. Uh, and yeah, I think that's all of them. Oh wait, we got a Darley Champion here. This is also one of the ones that tons of people have seen. Uh, and in terms of that video, the 2001 is still mounted on my grandpa's train set, so I don't have footage of that. Point is, if you want to make a model siren, I already have a video on that, uh, and a lot more people have seen it than will probably see in this video, so it's kind of irrelevant. But I hope you enjoyed, and over time I will be expanding the siren system with the rest of the train layout, so yeah.